it makes no sense. You're not stopping the, the fist from going up, you're stopping it from going down. So I want to develop the pressure and the, 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 the tightening, the tension, I guess I should say, across the top. That's like my dexterity word. I learn words as I go. So my tension has to be across the top. Now, also my belief is this. I want his fist and his, or the hand wrap to be working at its maximum when his hand is closed. Because when he hits people, his hand's probably going to be closed and tight, right? So as soon as I get to go from the hand to the wrist or the wrist to the hand, I make him close his fist. So close your fist for me. Now, I'm going to go around the wrist about three or four times. There's no secret number or special number. It just depends on how long the wraps are. I know he's got real long wraps. I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff. So I'll go around his wrist a few times. The more, the more the better. It gives some padding. If you get kicked in that little mot, it hurts, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go up to his hand. So he's going to open. i got to create a pad here, and I want to create something underneath that's going to give him something to hold on to. That's where a lot of times people break their hands is because they got nothing to, to grip onto. You want a little bit of a pad. Even some of the old uh, bag gloves they had back in like the early 90s and late 80s, they actually had a bar through them you held onto. A good thing, right? A lot of times they don't do that anymore, I think, because MMA is so prevalent, people want to be able to grapple. That's why they took that out. Anyway, so here I go. Across the hands, and I'll start low on the fingers. I go, to the, go up to the base of the hand, and then I'll go back down again. I just alternate to make sure I cover all of it. All right, now I'm gonna go back to his wrist. Close your fist, because I want this tension. I don't want him to hit a bag and this to happen or somebody's elbow. I'm gonna go around that wrist a couple times. Now, I wanna connect the thumb in. So, I'm gonna take this, because the way I wrap across the top, this is gonna come out underneath when I'm back on that wrist, okay? I'm gonna go around that thumb and rather than wrapping all the way around it, I'm going to pull it across and ask him to close his hand. Now, it doesn't have to be tight. I just want something there to give him a little bit of tension to remind his thumb not to be here when he punches. Okay? The glove usually does the rest. But there's a little bit of tension there to protect it. Go back to the wrist. I'm going to go back to the hand. Open. Once around that hand. Close again. Close again because I'm creating that tension. And now I'm going to finish it up. I usually, if I know I'm going to finish, i got something like this left. I'm going to go up high, and I'm going to wrap myself back to the base of his hand, and then nothing's going to slip out. Basically, I'm making it cosmetically nice. All right? Now, a couple of things I do differently than most people. First thing was going across the top because of the ligament. Second thing, I make sure there's some meat here for that bar so you've got something to hold on to. Last thing... I don't do between your knuckles, right? Because I believe one of the biggest, most common injuries that nobody hears about in combat sports is arthritis in your hands. From hitting heavy bags, from hitting, you know, you guys know it with this weather, everybody's hands hurt a little bit. I guarantee you if you're in this sport. So anytime you take a wrap, which is very thick, and you put it between the knuckles here, what's happening is every time you hit something, you're separating the knuckle from the tendon. And you're making it so that there's space there. So quickly in the future, with three months down the line, you've got arthritis. You don't need that there. If you wrap your hand correct, close your fist, it's protected. Having something here isn't going to make it any better. And you're protected here. That's the most important thing. Now, if I gauze and tape your hands for a fight, I will put tape there. But I put, extra, I put tape through those knuckles to create extra tension across the back of the hand for a fight. Because you're actually hitting bones. Right? And tape... It's so thin, you, it's never going to put any, it's, it, you're not creating a point where it's going to push those knuckles apart. All right? Let me do one more real quick. How's that feel? Excellent. Good. And there you go. I mean, this is the way I do it. Maybe it's wrong, but I got a reason why I do it. And it kind of, I think it makes sense, right? Close tight. I've never had a fighter, wow, better knock on some wood when I get a chance. I've never had a fighter in 10 years break anything in his hand. So, and I will find wood to knock on when I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, and it's that thing, that thing, that part of the sport, like, I'm so impressed that you guys are all here for seminar, because seminars are like a, la a lost art. And I never would have known probably something like this unless I was at a seminar or trained with somebody that nobody else did. You know, it's just these little things that 
you know, why should I tape or wrap my hands the same way as everybody else did if there's no, no meaning behind it? You know, there's a meaning. There's, there's a reason for everything, right? And the longer you can take care of your body in this sport, because it's not an easy sport. And if you're a fighter, it's not an easy job. So the tr one of the biggest closure first, one of the biggest things in the sport is being able to have longevity and to be able to last and, and take care of your body. And any of us that have been doing this for a long time know that we probably started the wrong way or didn't take care of ourselves. And it, and it hurts now. But we love it so much we keep doing it. But it would be much better if we could love it and keep doing it and it doesn't hurt. Right? There you go, my man. Thanks, sir. There you go. Another thing. Thank you.